everyone, this is Sunidhi Shahi, your host. And if you have just conquered the CAPS Knowledge Assessment of Pharmaceutical Sciences exam, congratulations! Your hard work and dedication have paid off, and you are one step closer to becoming a registered pharmacist in Australia. Exciting times, right? Well, buckle up because the next adventure awaits: the AFRA registration. I am here to guide you through the process in three easy steps. So let's dive in. First thing first, what on earth is AFRA? Well, the Australian Health Practitioner Regulation Agency is like the guardian angel of healthcare professionals, making sure we all meet the standards to keep the public safe. They handle registrations and the renewals, and even tackle any concerns about healthcare superheroes. So let's get started with the three things you need to do before applying for AFRA registration. Now, before you jump into the AFRA registration process, there are three crucial steps you should be aware of. Number one. English language proficiency test. You have got to prove you can chat pharmacy in English. Think IELTS, PT, or OAT. Then there is the eligibility check. Make sure you tick all the boxes on criminal history, English skills, practice recency, and insurance arrangements. Lastly, gather up all documents like your course certificate, academic transcript, and proof of identity. Okay. Now that you are ready, let's break down the AFRA registration into three manageable steps. First up, creating your AFRA account. It's like your backstage pass to the whole registration gig. Just head to the AFRA website, hit the registration section, and follow the bouncing prompts to set up your account. Keep those login details safe. There is your golden ticket to submitting docs, tracking progress, and getting all your updates. Step two. Submit those English language scores and that shiny skill assessment letter you got after nailing the CAPS exam. Pop up them into your APRA registration and then you are on your way. Because let's be honest, being bilingual in pharmacy is pretty cool, right? Last but not the least, step three: provisional registration. Send in all your documents like academic transcripts and proof of identity, and kick back for about two months while they work their magic. Once approved, you are officially started your journey as a registered pharmacist. Now, isn't that something to celebrate? Quick tips before we wrap up: submit your documents on time, keep things organized, and stay on top of updates in your APRA account. Oh, and the application fee for provisional registration is Australian dollar one fifty one. Just so you know. Now there are few types of registration: general, limited for postgrad training, non-practicing for those taking a break, and student registration. Choose the one that suits your path. Why bother registering? Well, beside it being a legal requirement, it's all about quality assurance, public protection, and professional accountability. A registered pharmacist is a qualified and competent superhero, ensuring a top-notch healthcare services. Also, if you want to set up practice in Australia, getting registered with APRA is mandatory. And there you have it, folks. Becoming a registered pharmacist in Australia is an exciting journey, and APRA registration is your ticket to this adventure. Follow these steps, stay on top of things, and you will be wearing that pharmacist cape in no time. Best of luck, and remember, you are not just registering; you are also stepping into a world where your skills make a real difference. Cheers to your future in pharmacy. Till then, bye. Take care.